He may not have the best known face in the business, but Sketchy Bongo is one of the busiest music producers in the country. Instead of chasing established names, he's focused on opening doors for up and coming acts and artists. And we wondered why he'd chosen this unconventional approach. When local singer songwriter Shekinah performed Let You Know, the track that took her to number two on the SA charts and scored a place on the BBC One playlist, Sketchy Bongo was the producer. The music industry in South Africa is on the rise, especially for one specific music producer. His family knows him as Uvea Pele, but you might know him as Sketchy Bongo. Sketchy is the unassuming developer of a new brand of Durban Sound, showing that it is indeed possible to produce hit tracks without lavish facilities and a vast entourage. That sounds amazing, guys. Hey, how How's it going? How are you doing? Love. How are you? How are you? Oh, good, man. How did you get into music? I started playing piano when I was about six or seven years old. I started high school. I started making a lot of hip-hop beats, and I met A1 Wolf. He was rapping, and I was making beats, and we decided we were going to meet up and just make a whole lot of tracks, and we've been recording songs ever since then. This year you got your first two Salma nominations for your own work. How did that feel? It was great to be nominated, great to have my work recognized. I was nominated for Best Pop Album and Brenda Farsi has been nominated for Best Pop, Sipo Hot Sticks. Like, it was just great to be even in the same like, category as those people that I listened to when I was growing up. Where do you draw your inspiration from? I'm inspired by the people that I work with. So, you know, I, I do a lot of collabs. I'm also inspired by the city that I live in. I live in Durban. I grew up here and the city is just so diverse. There's so many things going on. Like the track that blew up for all of us was Back to the Beach. And Back to the Beach was about the beach in Durban. So, yeah, that's, that's, what, it's, that's what it's about for us, yeah. You use a mask for most of your performances, why? The mask was something that I found at a music video shoot once. And I thought it was cool with my brand and works with my image. And it creates a character for the people when they come see me and they see the mask, they're like, oh, that's sketchy. <laughs> that's what people like to see. They like to see characters and it creates an act. So you mentioned that you play the piano. What other instruments do you play? I play anything with keys on it. I play a little bit of guitar. I play a little bit of drums. I played violin on a track once. Is that something you would suggest to producers coming up in South Africa, that they'd learn an instrument? Study music theory, definitely, and definitely for production, learn how to use a keyboard. Yo, what's up? It's Sketchy Bongo. Uh, I just want to announce that I'm going to be opening for Justin Bieber. I'm coming through with the whole wolf pack. recently opened for Justin Bieber. What was that experience like? Yeah, the experience was amazing. Just playing for like 60,000 people in Cape Town and, and Joburg, it was a, a mind-blowing experience. It's like you're playing to a city. It's, it's huge. In an industry bulging with oversized egos, Sketchy favors a very different approach, forging partnerships with other artists and putting more emphasis on the quality of the product than a high personal profile. Rolling with the main nose, heavy with the cash flow, spinning on the thick girls You are the king of collabs. What has been the best for you so far? At the moment I'm working with a whole lot of artists from this country and also around the continent. I'm working on some stuff with Jack Parrow at the moment, something very different from what he's done in the past. I've got Kyle Deitch's uh, album that's going to be coming out. I've got Kay and Cruz dropping a new album. I'm working on some stuff with Jimmy Nevis. I'm doing some collabs in Nigeria with some of the artists there. There's a lot of collabs going on. Why did you stay independent for so long? We stayed independent mainly because we like doing our own thing and releasing what we want. At the moment, A1 Wolf and myself have a record label called Wolfpack X. 
all the artists on there are signed to us. There's no major labels involved. We just like to have this interaction with the people where we can release whatever we want, whenever we want, and not have anybody telling us what to do. Is going independent and releasing a large amount of music like you guys did a good idea for the South African music industry? I don't think labels are a bad thing. I think definitely sign with a label if you don't know how to work the industry. I mean, some people are trained musicians and that's what they do. They don't do anything except sing and then definitely you need to go with the label. You need somebody who can actually help you with what you're doing. What are your future plans for not only yourself, but the Wolfpack as well? The Wolfpack has so many new songs coming out. We got an EP that we're dropping soon. We got our artists dropping new projects. We got music videos that are going to be shot really soon. We got a cool song called Rolling in Dubane which is with A1 Wolf and Coombs. It's all about Durban as usual. We're doing shows all over the country. There's a whole lot of stuff coming out, but it's, it's, gonna be, it's gonna be a fun time this year. Well, thank you so much for chatting to us, and I wish you all the best, and I can't wait to see what comes out in summer. But I think whilst you've got the Wolf Pack here, can you give us a little taste of your recent release? Yes, let's definitely, let's get them in. Passion is an overused word in the contemporary lexicon, but you can see that quiet, uncompromising energy at work in Sketchy and the Pack.